see him on the track, man. We up every morning, we ain't drinking no focus. In my neck, but get no bread. But I like to get to the bread. Can't fool with them boys over there, cause they low key be talking to fit. I'ma move solo instead. Run up through rats like sand and dreads. No snakes in my circle and Sanjay and Craig. I really get money, ain't never misled. I'm trying to ice in my neck, but get no bread. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy G on the Pip Guy, and we back with another. No, we back with the first YouTube banger. This right here, and this gonna be a classic. You know what I'm saying? So this channel, it's all about the energy, bro. We finna be going up, 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 up. All right. So in this video, we will be discussing shit, basically just like you know what I'm saying, what trading is, cause you know what I'm saying. Like, I know you probably done heard of shit about some foreign exchange either in your economics class or shit you done heard it off the streets you done heard your partners talk about it everybody done heard something about forex somewhere and take money to make money i always remember this it don't take a lot of money to make a lot of money though it just take money to make money remember that 2020 yeah about three four years now Three, four years now, shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just now getting to the point where shit. I'm just now becoming profitable for real. And it shit feel good, bro. That's why I'm, you know what I'm saying, feeling like I need to got down record my and document my my journey type shit. You feel me? I'm recording and document my journey with this YouTube and shit. That's how we gonna get this shit. God damn, that's how we gonna get this shit for real. So boom. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it. Remember what GM the Pip guy told you. It take money to make money. It don't take a lot of money to make money, but it take money to make money. You feel me? Why does this happen like this? Because our broker gives us leverage. So what leverage is, is just like what the bank gives you. You know what I'm saying? You go to the bank, you see a house that you like. You see a car that you like. The bank will give you a loan, and you can use the bank's money to buy this stuff and you can pay the bank back with their money type shit you know what i'm saying you can do the same thing with the brokerage right so boom you get a forex broker which is basically you know what i'm saying shit a person that holds your capital they take your capital they ship it off into the forex market those properties come back to your broker they exchange it that's where the processing system is this is like the headquarters for your money to go out into foreign exchange Put your money back in there. You see all of your accounts. The money doesn't move unless you touch it. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get this shit right and we're going to get this shit rolling. You feel me? So, like, right now, shit, it's the weekend and shit, the market is actually closed. So, the market is open six days a week from 4 p.m. to 4 p.m. Right now, so, you know what I'm saying? You gonna see it? Oh, this is my this Eastern time frame. Uh, with whichever time frame you in, um, you can look for the calculations or however that goes. But it's 4 p.m. in Eastern time frame. So boom, let's get to the nitty gritty. What is trading? What is forex? Well, forex, right? Forex is short for foreign exchange. So boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, a real-life example, right? And shit, I'm gonna break it down to y'all. Real life and shit, digitally. It's, it's multiple. It's a lot of different ways you can do Forex. Foreign exchange. That's what it is. It's foreign exchange. So, boom. Forex, right? Let's say we had $1,000. Took a plane to Europe. Boom. Phew. Fly to Europe. Boom. We got a band. So, boom. We take the money to the teller lady over there so we can exchange our money because we know in Europe that they got different money over there so we gotta have a different type of currency to you know what i'm saying even be able to purchase shit over there so we take our money to the lady that exchanged the money which is at the teller booth at the airports and at the malls and all the other bullshit so boom you go to that lady you give her the band she give you back 500 euros right so boom all right so boom let's say we in uh that down we in europe with our millionaire friend or whatever so boom 
and them niggas, you know what I'm saying, they paying for everything and shit. We ain't did, we ain't paid for nothing. We still got that 500 euros in our pocket. So, boom. Let's say it's time to go. We get on the plane. We go back to the USA. Boom. We're back in the USA. We tap. We go back to the motherfucking teller lady. We go to the teller lady. We give her the motherfucking 500 euros, right? And she give us back two bands. So, boom. And I hear we're going to be like, damn. How the fuck I just get a band free? So, you know what I'm saying? Naturally, a nigga just gonna walk off with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's free money. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you was to be actually be curious and ask that lady, like, damn, lady, like, where the fuck I get this band from? She gonna explain to you that shit. You know what I'm saying? Sir, you know what I'm saying? You invested your currency into uh, the European currency. The European currency got down for X amount of time. And shit, while the time you was gone, our currency grew higher than their currency. So, therefore, you made a profit off of your investment when you came back and exchanged the money again. So, boom. Trading is really simple, you guys. Like, it really is. It's just knowing the fundamental information and then you apply it. And then, after that, bread is made. It's just like managing another bank account. And shit, news, news is important, but news is, it doesn't really play a big factor in my trading unless you're just looking at a chart all day and that's not healthy i've done that before that's not healthy don't do that guys <laughs> don't do that we're gonna be on the chart going hard though it's not just not we're gonna have six seven got the um four hours on how, 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 how much i'm gonna do so i do be going crazy for real though when people think that oh the chart is moving crazy y'all want to lose money oh it's stocks this this and that whatever the fuck they have to say you see the accounts, right? There's tabs for the accounts. You click on this account, you log into the account, you see bread, there's a balance. You're gonna have a balance in each of your accounts. The money doesn't move unless you buy or you sell. I honestly can't really tell you the last time I pulled up a forex factory chart right beside my trading view chart when I was trading. Like, I don't use that chart and I still make money. There's a lot of people in this space that think that you have to pay attention to the news. You have to know what's going on in the news. You have to see. It. You can see it on the chart. I see it on the chart every day. I think we're gonna have like, oh, I'm sound like we're gonna have content videos where people are learning about trading. You know what I'm we're gonna have stuff for our new traders. We're gonna have stuff for our intermediate traders and shit. We're gonna have stuff. We gonna have socks. That's what I want to call it. Cause I wouldn't consider myself an advanced trader yet because I'm not at the stage of capital that I want to be yet. But I am consistently making money. I see a news event before it even happens, and I'm involved in that news event while it's happening, and it's not affecting my position <laughs> at all. And you know what I'm saying? A loss during that time should never be anything that's gonna break you. You should any loss that you take as a trader, it should never break you because you know what I'm saying? You have to take another trade. If you have to take another trade, how are you going to take another trade if you already broke? Okay. So, my point, exactly. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's give it to some chart where you can see what this shit is really about. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, GM the Pip Guy, and we now are looking at the chart. So, what we're looking at is Euro USD. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be giving y'all a depiction of the example that I gave y'all earlier on in the video. If we had to make an investment with our currency um, into this European currency while we were in Europe in order to buy goods over there, then we could see it like this. We have a chart right here. All right, and let's step it back. Let's go back to the basics a little bit. What is this chart? What are we looking at? So, like I said, these are candlesticks, right? The scale is price. And it's connected to, you know what I'm saying, the data that we see here. So, if we see that, then we know where price is at all time by looking at these candlesticks. So, you know what I'm saying? These candlesticks represent a day. So, if we jump down to a lower time frame, we see this over here. How long would a flight to Europe take? I'm not really sure. But let's just say about 12 hours for it. I want to be realistic with this. OK. 
Okay, boom. So it will actually be this candlestick right here. So it's actually structural range as well. So if we look at that, right, we can see that price went up during that time. So we got in, you know what I'm saying, and we exchanged our currency and we stayed our currency and we stayed over there and then we came back and we exchanged it at this point so when we got back to the u.s we went to the teller booth right and we told the lady we said okay lady then i give my give my bread back for the for the for the u.s money so she gave us 2k lady gave us two bands and u.s money so she gave us two thousand u.s dollars right 2K not basketball, but we're gonna buy a lot of that, you feel me? So boom. So a thousand dollar profit, right? Made a thousand dollar profit off that 500 euros. So boom. Euro shot up. Right? Euro shot up. And this is actually the four hour time frame now. So this is the end of the day. So, you know what I'm saying? This was basically a representation of the shit that last impulse I'm saying okay so this is basically how it goes and we're looking at the euro right i was going to see the base of the first pair and the base is always the distributor to the quote so your base will always be your bearish client because then it will be the sellers the sellers are who have the services the sellers are who the people who are distributing the services to or the goods to the buyers which are the american citizens so this is a quote for the euro at at now 1.09739 numbers really don't matter your pips got down what matters is risk management in this market these movements are actually lovely these are beautiful movements for you and you know what I'm saying? If you keep following my channel and you keep following me, you can see how I catch these moves every day. And I'm not looking to get anything from anyone. I'm just on this platform using it as basically um, a model to see my progression. And you know what I'm saying? As I'm seeing my progression, I can also help educate others along the way. And you know what I'm saying? Also build a, basically a team behind me in a network that is also like just as yeah them just as educated I am because it's trading is a lonely space. I'm not gonna lie. It's a lonely space. And I'm not looking for a friend or anything. I don't need goddamn friends, but you know what I'm saying, I do wanna have uh, associates and like minded people that's around me and in this space so I can you know what I'm saying grow as an individual. You feel me? This management is the only thing that matters. And as long as you use risk management, you can make money. Don't let all of this stuff scare you. Don't let all of these long sticks and big candlesticks think that, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 stopping you from making money because basically what that what just happened was we seen a bullish impulse in the market. All right. This was a bullish impulse in the market. So so if we can look at this chart, this is the daily time frame. Here it is. It's the daily time frame. Each of these candlesticks are one day. If we look at each of these candlesticks represents a day. And basically in this market, what we see is we see buyers and we see sellers, right? So there's a B for buyers. And there's also a B for sellers. What we know is bears and bulls in the market. Bulls and bears, bullish and bearish. You know what I'm saying? These are all terms that we use for buyers and sellers. So you can either see this way going up or down in the market. All right. So we got buyers and sellers in the market. The market can only go up or down. So in this market, 
we can sometimes kind of see it go sideways because when you look up in the chart, you know what I'm saying, you either see a movement like this, it's going up, or the chart is going down. Right? The chart is going down. So what we see this is as traders, we need to see this as a bearish market. This is a bullish market and this is a bearish market. These markets can come in all shapes, different sizes and shape sizes, forms. Um, this market is very vast. You know what I'm saying? It shows up in a lot of ways, but it's all the same stuff. It's all the same stuff. It moves by supply and demand, and it moves to places of imbalance where orders lie in the market. And so there's a start of a market right here, right? We have an impulse. Boom. Impulse up to the top side. And up here, it made a higher high, right? So we can see that higher high in the market. So that's now showing us that there is a sign that there is buyers in the market, All right? So you know what I'm saying? A lot of times in the market, um, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people in this market. You have to think, it's not just you that's buying this currency. So what you have to think about is that there's other players and other institutions and other people that are speculating this current same currency that's still looking at and they want to buy this currency as well. So um think about if it would be a smart place to buy a currency whenever you open a chart and whenever it seems like it's bullish or think about if it's selling, I always think of it's a good move to sell because if we see that um, there's a structural impulse to the top side, and we know that there's a bullish play. You see a structural impulse to the downside, then we know that there could potentially be a bearish play. All we have to see for a confirmation of a bearish play, though, is another structural move to the downside. And once you see that structural move to the downside, it doesn't matter what time frame it is, really. You can see a structural move to the downside either here or you can see it here because there are still orders that are lying inside this market as it moves down because there's inefficiency that is created, right? So there's orders that are, you know what I'm saying, being stacked up all in this area by people that are selling too early and it's creating liquidity to the downside. And it's people, you know what I'm saying, looking to sell above this area and having their stocks at this area right here. It's once you get the feel for trading, you'll start to see where the orders lie in the market, right? So, you know what I'm saying? There's people buying at this area. There's people selling early traders getting in. There's all type of bullshit happening at this area. There's early sellers getting in, and there's early buyers getting in. So, you would see a move that looks like this to the top side, right? You know what I'm saying? And then it would break down. And then it would keep breaking down, and it would give you shit an entry somewhere in this area to get in to go short because it has now showed you a proper distribution in this area that there is a selling pressure, right? So this is what we like to look for as traders, or this is what I like to look for as a trader to get in involved in a, a sale move. So um, basically, 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 we have buyers and we have sellers in the market, right? So, your price action is king, market structure is queen. That's pretty much the simplest way that, you know what I'm saying, I've found my success in trade. So, it doesn't even matter about big moves. People should anticipate a big move. This big moves are going to come your way if you have an edge in the market. So, you know what I'm saying? You can either buy or sell or wait. Um, this is a bullish market. In a bullish market, we see higher highs and higher lows. In a bearish market, we see lower highs and lower lows. So, that's how you got that free band. And shit, you ain't got to be flying all across the motherfucking USA to be doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Right there at that moment, you would have been like, damn, how the fuck? You're going to be like, damn, bro. I just found a motherfucking cheat code. Like, I found free money with, like, 
You know what I'm saying? Little did you know, it's not free money though. It's really just shit, the shit you see every day. Cause shit, you could have lost money on that play. Little did you know, if our currency went down, shit, that's just the truth. God damn, everybody want to hear the brights and the ups and the, and the high and the highs and the. And who want to hear about the lows? God damn, who want to hear about the the, the, the trenches? Cause the trenches get hard for real, for real. If you can't survive through them trenches for real, then shit, you ain't gonna make nothing through trading for real. Cause the trenches, you gotta get through them stages. That's shit. The the best advice I can give to new traders: always be a sponge to information. If you're a sponge to the information and shit, you know what I'm saying. You can take a little bit of what this person know, a little bit of what that person know, and a little bit of what you know. You know what I'm saying? You can blend and mold all that shit in together and create your own strategy. It takes some motherfucking dedication for real. But look, goddamn, I forgot what I was saying for real. Let me stop and pause. But you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't get into it because shit, fear. You know what I'm saying? I always shit. To be honest, I never had fear when I like I seen this shit, and I was like, damn, this shit bread, and I'm doing all this stupid ass shit. Like, what the fuck, nigga? That was, that was it for me. Like, I seen this shit. Like, this shit bread. Like, this shit real bread right here. My mama, like, I seen the app Metatrader 4. And I was like, damn. Okay. That shit, that's all she wrote from there. You know what I'm saying? I had to, I was just seeking for knowledge. You know what I'm saying? You got to be a seeker of knowledge, a sponge to information. I will be dropping on a weekly basis. I'm going to be trying to drop in two, three videos a week. Two, three videos a week and shit, you know what I'm saying, we just gonna go up from there, so boom, right now I got the setup on my phone and shit, but you know what I'm saying, hit that like and subscribe button, you know what I'm saying, cause we gonna be talking about this shit on this channel, and we gonna be going live trades, you know what I'm saying, we gonna be doing shit, goddamn back testing videos, shit, we gonna be talking about life, vlogs, you know what I'm saying, shit, psychology, that's gonna be a big one, you know what I'm saying, all good, we smoke good gas, we trade good bands, you know what I'm saying, we get good cash and shit. If you're trying to go up with us, hit that like and subscribe button right now. And tune in to the videos that's coming after this one. You know what I'm saying? After that one. After that one. You know what I'm saying? When it gets to a point to shit, you know what I'm saying? Where I got a big enough goddamn audience and shit. We got a big enough network. You know what I'm saying? Shit. We just gonna be sitting back chilling shit. Talking about trades and shit. And shit. That's why I want this shit to be. You feel me? Shit. That's the whole point of why I'm doing the YouTube so I can really network, you know what I'm saying, shit, get people that don't understand Forex to shit, you know what I'm saying, not have such a bad feeling about, you know what I'm saying, like, everything that people tell them about this space, because it's like, there's too much negativity out here in the world, for real, like, and money, you know what I'm saying, it's like, money is a tool, for real, people, like, they see that shit, money make people so evil, bro, it don't make no sense, like, you know what I'm saying, money is a tool, and shit, that shit comes in a lot of, it comes in abundance. So like, you know what I'm saying, I, don't, I see no point of, like, you know what I'm saying, trying to block the next man from, you know what I'm saying, wanting to learn about some money. Like, you know what I'm saying, it's not gonna stop me from getting my money, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, shit, I might, I can teach that nigga something, you know what I'm saying? Like, teach that nigga what I know, shit, if he willing to learn. I'm not willing to teach nobody that's nothing, that's not willing to learn. That's why I'm doing YouTube, because shit, I'm basically, shit, sitting here, you know what I'm saying, taking information from y'all, Taking what I know and shit, I'm putting that shit together. Truth be told, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect on y'all, but I really don't give a fuck what y'all talking about, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, goddamn, I know what I'm doing, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? I can't have the next man, shit, feeling played about shit, goddamn, coming to me to give some information and then, like, I give him the information and then shit, he don't do nothing with it, shit. Goddamn, that's him. <laughs> I know how I make my bread, you feel me? So shit, that's the end of that, goddamn, but shit, you know what I'm saying? Young nigga really run up these bands.